Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about stenography. What is stenography? Well, stenography is the art of hiding messages. Okay, so we, we have encryption, which you which encrypts it and you need a password to decode, uh, decrypt. And then you have encryption, uh, or sorry, this is encryption, encoding something which basically just puts it in a different format <laughs> that you can later decode. It's almost like putting it in a different language. But stenography, again, is hiding a message. So think about it like this. It is like, okay, let's say you have a safe in your house where you keep your valuables. Someone breaks in. If they know how to break into the safe, they're going to go to the safe and break into the safe. But if you put the safe in the wall, well, they may not know if it's behind a picture. So they need to, one, know that you have a safe and know that you're hiding it. And then they need to find it, even if they know you're hiding it. So it's kind of the same thing. We can take messages and we can put them in other files. Uh, so what we're actually gonna do today, we're gonna use a tool. So originally, originally I was going to start off and I'll do this in a future video. I was going to talk about a program called Steg Hide. So if I did sudo apt, uh, aptitude search Steg, it will bring up any uh, program that has the word Steg in it. And there's a few here. Steg Hide, I've talked about this years ago. It allows you to hide messages in images. And I think it also allows you to hide messages in MP3s and other file formats. So we were going to do that, which is great because you send someone a picture of anything and they think, oh, it's a picture. And it's not like they're hiding the text in the image. No, it's, it's in, embedded in the file and you need a tool to get it out, which would be Steg Hide as well. But when I was about to install this for recording this video, I saw this Steg Snow, which is stenography using ASCII files, which again, one of the points of the series is anything that we do that we encrypt or encode, we want to have it in ASCII, which is typable characters, right? So I installed it and it is a pretty cool program. So sudo apt install Steg Snow on a Debian based system or on any other Linux system, just use whatever your package manager is. Let's go ahead and look at Steg Snow the man page. So again, again, the man page is the manual page. And right here, it gives you basic things. You know, it tells you, you know, you can enter a password, you can give it a file or a message, and then you have input and output files. But what is Stegsno? A description. Stegsno, and I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that right, is a program for concealing messages in a text file by appending tabs and spaces on the ends of lines and for extracting that information. Also, if we sc scroll down, this is not just security through obscurity, which I don't think security, security through obscurity is a bad thing as long as you have other things in place. So security through obscurity is like basically hiding stuff in plain sight. Uh, so just hiding the message, that's good, by, not by itself, but it's good Again, it's like having stuff in a safe. You could hide stuff behind a picture frame, but it'd be better to hide it behind the picture frame in a safe. So first they have to find it and then they have to break in. This is the same thing. It does do encryption uh, upon the messages. See right here, encryption is also provided using ICE encryption. So, uh, so the messages here are gonna be hidden and encrypted. That's why we give it a password. So let's go ahead and start using it. So let me look in my directory here. I have three files. I have an image that we created, but then I also have this message file and another text file. Let's look at what's inside this message file. Boom, it's just a couple of lines of text that I created. So what we wanna do is I want to pass a message, my hidden message to Steg Snow and hide it in this text. And it's gonna do that by appending tabs and spaces to end the lines. So let's see what that looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste the command here. Um, so I'm going to say steg snow dash C dash M. M is my message. We got this. This is a capital C, by the way. Uh, we're going to say this is my hidden message and then dash P and give it our password. And then we're going to give it our input text which is our message.txt. And then I'm going to create a file called hidden underscore MSG dot text. I do that and it tells me here, it gives me some output information, blah, blah, blah. It says one extra line was created. Let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, I'll use gedit for, well, first let's cat out the file, right? So I can cat out my hidden message.txt, right? It looks just like before. There is an extra line at the bottom and it did tell me in the output when I created this, where was it? Right here, uh, an extra line was added. And that's just because this text file was so small, there wasn't a whole lot of room to hide stuff, so it had to add an extra line. We'll talk more about that in another example in a minute. But look, it looks the same, right? So let's go, this is our original text file. This is our new text file. You don't see the difference other than that extra line at the end, which won't always be there if it was a bigger file. Let's go ahead and use a, another program. I'll use uh, gedit to open it up, right? 
Yeah, it's just a text editor, like Notepad or whatever. Again, there's the message, the original file. There is an empty line here. Again, if it wasn't numbering, you may not even notice it there. If I go to the end of each line, though, you can see there's there's like spaces here. It doesn't just end at the word, and that's where all our messages are hidden. So most people would not know that. If you didn't know that someone was hiding a message, you wouldn't know to look at that. Little obvious, little, little, little obvious in a small file like this. Again, uh, let me go use another text editor. I'll use uh, Vi. I'll open it up. By default, you don't see anything. Let me use my NeoVim, right? NeoVim, I have particular things set up. It's for programming and stuff. So, um, not NeoVim. Well, NeoVim, but NVim. I have it set up so I can see white spaces. So I actually do see a little bit in my text editor. But most text editors, you wouldn't see anything. And even if it did, you're just like, oh, there's extra spaces. I actually have a key on my keyboard that removes all uh, trailing uh, spaces and white space and whatnot. Uh, but most people would not think anything of that. And even if they did, it's still encrypted. They would need to know your password. Yeah, I use the password password, which isn't very good. Um, but now, how do we get it out? Well, I am going to give it this command. Steg snow dash capital C, dash P, password, and then our text file. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna output our original message, right? So definitely my message, the, the message I'm sending here is small and the file I'm hiding it in is small. So it makes it a little more obvious. Well, I also have in here again, another file called oz.txt, which if I was to cat out, is the entire Wizard of Oz textbook or uh, novel. Uh, if I was to count it out, there's, 2,296 lines, uh, 39,627 words, and uh, what is it, 212,409 characters in there. So hiding my message in there, no one would notice it whatsoever. So let's go ahead and do our command from earlier. So I'm gonna pass it the same hidden message. Again, it could be a whole file, a whole text file. Again, looking at the man page, you can pass it an input and an output file. Right here, I am just giving it a message in my line and I'm giving it this password and instead of hiding in here I'm gonna say look at the Oz file and then we'll say instead of hidden MSG we'll say hidden Oz there we go uh, no um, what you would call it uh, extra line at the end because it didn't need it if we were to open up this file again I'll say G edit as an example and uh, I called it hidden Oz it's like going through here you are not gonna find that message. And so I could, in a big text file like this, I could hide a pretty big message and no one would notice, again, unless someone knows to look in there. And even if they did, even if they did figure out that you were hiding a message, they would still need to decrypt it. And I mean, one of the best ways to do that, again, when we did our pseudo, I guess I, guess I don't need to pseudo, I'll just aptitude search steg there are tools that will try to crack these things i haven't tried it right here but it's a brute force tool right brute force means it's going to go through and try all these different passwords so as long as you use a pretty decent password it's going to um be hard to crack brute force is if it's a long especially if you add special characters but a long password is gonna take forever for someone to brute force there's another tool here that says it's the world's fastest steg hide cracker I don't know exactly what it's doing, but again, cracking and brute forcing is possible once they got a hold of the file, got it on their own system. If they have a powerful machine, they know that the hidden message is there and somehow they're going to, I don't know what the cracker is doing, right? This one obviously is brute forcing means it's just trying every possible password. Uh, cracking could be done in different ways. Use, use a secure password, but again, just don't let people know you're hiding a message in there. And again, you can also then encode things different ways and encrypt. You can encrypt the the text file so someone will decrypt it and go, oh, it's just the Wizard of Oz and they might stop there. You could do layers of, of techniques like that. So anyway, this was uh, Steg Snow. Again, uh, I'll in a future video, I'll look at Steg Hide, which does the same thing, but hides it in an MP3 or an image file, uh, which is gonna do an even better job of hiding it because no one's going to open up an MP3 in a text file and go, hey, there's some other information here that's just, just Unless they know you're doing it, they're not looking for it. So that's the point of stenography. Have a great day.